Hello everybody, my name is Dan, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out something I've never really experienced before. So we're in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, so this is the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, as well as I believe this is on all of the other platforms as well, so the Xbox Switch. Uh, I don't know about Pocket Edition, I'm not too familiar with the Bedrock Edition, but I saw this map called Bloom and I think it's like a it's a full pack with custom animations and different blocks and stuff. Uh, I saw in the Littlewood uh, post about this saying it's definitely worth checking out. So you can get this for free at the moment. I believe it's only free for the next couple of days as part of Microsoft's and Mojang's big Minecraft celebration event. So we're going to be checking this out. This has already got like custom models. So there's uh, gardens that way. Make sure to wear your favorite skins, a uh, favorite garden and skins. Character creator items don't work here. Okay, so there's some overalls and what look like Hulk gloves, maybe? Okay, so we're just wearing my normal skin because uh, I gotta wrap it. Also, there's like custom clouds in the sky, which are pretty cool, and the default Minecraft clouds. Okay, so it's a custom log. This is cool already, and then there's like fireflies in the air too. It's pretty cool. So apparently this has a bunch of custom stuff. Whoa, whoa. Oh. That's cool. What? Bloom is a game about cultivation, exploration, and customization. Before we can begin, find the three tools around the garden. Okay, so we've got beds here. We've got a plant pot and a candle. Nice, okay. Custom door by the looks of it. This is so cool. Oh, what's this? Upgrade your cottage. Okay, so we can't do that. This looks like a tool here, as well as that watering can, I think. Nice. So we have the trowel. Nothing in the chest. And apparently this has a whole custom soundtrack, too. So this will be pretty cool. It has Stardew Valley vibes. Okay, so there's the watering can. Nice. And we're just looking for one more tool. What can we do here? Can we unlock this? Remove magical barrier. Okay, so we can't do that yet. Uh, one more tool. One more tool. So that's the greenhouse and then hedge maze. Hedge maze? Oh, pliers. Or oh, shears. Shears? Pruners. Okay. You found some pruner. If you find plants in the wild, interact with them to collect clippings. You can plant clippings on prepared earth. <gasps> what? It's not custom animation too. This is so cool. Okay, so we have a purple hyacinth trimming. Okay. Oh, use the trowel to prepare soil for planting. Then plant the clipping and use the watering can to keep it hydrated. When it's fully grown, you can collect, can collect some magical pollen. Is this how I do it? How do I prepare soil? Start your garden and grow some plants. Oh, in here maybe? Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. So should we plant all three of these? And then water them. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. So, oh wait, do we need to keep watering them? Or is it like a once a day sort of thing? Okay. So we can't do anything there. Let's have a look then. Uh, what else do we do? So we've done the garden bit. Maybe we need to do it on the big one instead. Uh, let's try it by here then. Trowel. Plant. Water. There. Oh, this is really cool. I like that you can do this in the bedrock edition. It means that people who are playing without mods, or like were just playing this edition, can actually play some really cool custom maps. And I think you can buy maps too, which is pretty cool because obviously a lot of mods and a lot of maps uh, in Minecraft are just free. Oh wait, maybe I have to just keep watering my plants until one of them grows. Oh, maybe. That would make sense actually. There we go. Okay. Oh, so we just need to wait until they grow. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Ooh, this is nice. Maybe I didn't have to collect all of these, but we're going to have some nice flowers. I like the colour changes as well when it's been watered. It's very handy to see. 
These menus are cool too. And the lampposts. Oh, this, this is so cool. Oh, can we go through here? That was locked. Oh. Whoa, that's a lot more. Is that a town? It's a little town over there. Oh, oh. That's cool. Okay. Uh, right, so I guess we're just waiting now for these to to grow. Should we explore a bit more? See, so this is the greenhouse. I don't know what tool we need, like a wand or something? Alright, okay. Can we find that? Is that something we maybe unlock or buy? I can assume I can cut down the trees. These fish are cool. Ooh, can I go through here? Ah, oh, unfortunately not. Okay. Right, let's water that. Let's water that. This is ready to be grown. We did it. Yes. Oh, wait, what? Magic pollen has many mystical abilities, including the power to end tutorials. Use the pollen on the sign near the magical barrier to destroy it. What? Oh. Nice. Okay. Whoa. Now that pesky barrier is out of the way, you're free to explore this world. Clip wild flowers, grow your garden, repair structures, and decorate to your liking. I wonder what secrets are waiting out there. So this is the central garden. Oh, it's down here. I'd imagine that's probably a quest for something, maybe? Possibly? Homestrad Wanderer's Hill. So we need eight. Oh, so you grow plants and you get magical barrier stuff. Upgrade the old statue. So we don't want to do that because we can't gather resources yet. This is a... Oh, it's a little, little bird bath. Can we sit down on this? No. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, okay. So we can explore all this area. I say let's have a look. Over here. Wanderer's Hill. Okay, that's the one I want to look at. Here we go. Oh, what's this? Some sort of fountain? Okay. I like where it tells you where you are as well. Oh, a bridge. Oh. Is this a statue? We'll go up there in a second. I want to check. <gasps> Shit. Yes. Let's go. Okay. You found a hatchet. You can use it to chop through rotten logs and stumps. Nice. Nice, okay. So we can chop down stuff like that. So we have a hatchet. 29 clutter left. Make that 28. Oh, so we can clear areas and I assume we get stuff. Is this a wizard's tower? So we have 32 magical seeds. Okay, that's doable. I like that there's objectives to clear up stuff. That gives you something to aim for. Uh, so I want to quickly check over here. Let's get rid of that. See if we can actually do anything up here. We need, I believe, it will probably be like a pickaxe or something. Yeah. I assume we can make, combine the two tools to make it into like a, a pickaxe and a hatchet, maybe? This music's nice. I like the music. Okay, so let's grab some... Clippings. Okay, can't grab clippings from that. Oh, we can. Yes. Nice. Can't from that, but we will from this one. So we're going to plant as many as we can. We're going to grab all the clippings. There we go. Okay. I want to grow all the plants. Here we go. Oh, wait. Can I just keep collecting off them? As long as I water them. Is that how it works? There we go. Okay, let's plant some more. Uh, I need to make sure all of this is done, like so. Uh, I have a few more. Probably not enough to fill it all. Yeah, one off. One off is fine. There. Okay. So everything is watered. We can already collect off this one. So we have six. Okay. Is there anything back here need to be watered right now? No. So let's clear out everything in homestead. There we go. We have 45 logs. 
Uh, do they respawn? Possibly. I'm unsure. But we can go through here. Boom. The thicket. Okay. Yeah, we need to... We'll need to clean this area up. Can barely see. Uh, okay. Right. Let's go over the bridge. Hopefully, we'll find a new tool. Because we could do with expanding our toolkit. There's a camp over there. Oh. I can't destroy that. Maybe I have to upgrade my tool? Maybe. We will definitely find that out. There's a camp to our right, so we'll definitely remember to go check that out. But there's stuff up here. Oh, this looks cool. Wait. Sunshade Blade. What's this? Wait. It's a sundial. Oh, nice. Upgrade magical portal. Oh, okay, we can't do that yet, but we can. Grab a little trimming. I like... I like my little pruner. It's a great little tool. Look at this. Prune. 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 Ooh, sunflower. Can I prune with sunflower? I can. Nice. Oh, okay, so there's stuff... This clutter. We need to get rid of the clutter. There we go. Six pieces of clutter left. So these rocks are going to be clutter as well. So I assume there's going to be five rocks. Okay. Right. Let's head to that camp. There's, there's probably going to be stuff there that we can use. Hopefully a pickaxe. I don't know if we can like... Up... Yeah. I don't know if we can break them. Maybe we need to upgrade, like I said earlier. There is a chest, though, however. So let's put that in there. Oh. Arcane study. Any tools around here? No. But there is firewood. Okay. Right, let's read this. Arcaneology report. The last three days of studies by the Archaeology Task Force has led us drawing a number of profound conclusions. The disputed property, the former estate of Kin Pothos, contains an extraordinarily high measure of essence. Essence is usually only found in trace amounts thought to be the decayed remnants of magical constructs that have crystallized over centuries. The concentrated presence of essence has had a profound effect on local thorns. The pollen of the plants shimmers with a purple glow and seems to have become an energy source in and of itself. It also contains surprising alchemical properties. With further study, we, hypo ha we hypothesize... We hi yeah, we hypothesize it could be used in transmutation to create a number of different resources, depending on how it is configured. More research is required. To conclude, this site holds extreme, extreme potential, and it's my recommendation that Sentinel Technotronic seize the land immediately by right or by force. No. It could prove paramount for upcoming operations. 1973 Archaeology Task Force. Huh. That just put a little dampener on it, haven't it? Okay. 